It's the Mac and All Mill Creek Camping Show. All right. We are following my brother Chris Rogala. This is Frank Rogala. Show you me. Hi. And um, we're going to show how we move trees. We're putting a road through here, and so to save the trees, we have this humongous tree spade. And uh, actually, my brother Vince loves doing this with trees, and it's <laughs> he's probably going to be a little mad that Chris gets to be the one to, to show it here, so uh, apologies to Vince. Okay, I'm going to park here so I'm out of his way, and I'll get out. Chris asked me to... Help him with this. I gotta grab the post just before it comes out of the ground, so I'll have to dash over and grab it and turn this off probably. We'll see if I can do this up. Okay, here we go. Get this post out of the way, then we can get a clear shot at that tree. It's a fairly large tree. And he probably shouldn't be picking up that post because he hurt his back, but oh well. I'm sitting here holding the camera like a dummy, letting him do it. I've actually never seen this up close myself. That's pretty cool. I have seen the bill for this machine though, so <laughs> I'm glad to see. Uh... Wow, that's very cool. Oh my goodness, he's picking it right up. He said he didn't know if he was going to do it because it's a very large tree. But there he goes. It's out. Ta-da! Can I talk right now? Yep. Introduce yourself. Uh, hi, my name is Chris. I'm the manager and, and one of the owners here at the campground. And what we're doing is trying to save as many trees as possible. Every year we lose as many as 100 trees just from old age, storm damage, or construction. So what we're trying to do here is take these trees that are going to be in the middle of a new road and haul them out and recycle them and put them in another part of the park. This one's on the big side. It'll need to be staked and some special attention, but I'm pretty confident that it'll do all right. All right, we're following Chris. He was just telling me how he does some of the other bigger trees that um, maybe won't fit in the tree spade. So we're going to follow him over and have him explain how he does it. Now if you stop and look at this big maple right here. Yeah, that's right, a big one. That's a big tree. It's too big for my tree spade. It's too big to transplant. But what I can do is take this tree. If you look at the stump next to it here. This stump has been cut off four feet above the ground. It has some small shoots growing next to it. I can take this stump and transplant it into a new home and new shoots will come up around the base of this and it'll form a new tree in very short order and we'll leave here I just did one up the job here I'll t we'll go over there in a minute and show you that one and uh, it, it's a way of transplanting hardwoods that are too big to move and still being able to recycle something out of the tree Now this is one that's in the process of being transplanted in. It's been moved over, set into a new location. This happens to be a birch tree. And I didn't, in, in this one, I was able to save the cedar that's next to it, the small birch that came with it. And this birch will produce new shoots, new growth up out of it. 
So, and I would, this was done with just an excavator right close. It was only moved about 20 feet to get it out of the new road and set in the place. We'll put dirt back around the base and let her go. And we should have actually saved three trees in this process where it would have been destroyed in um, any other method. So you can do this with um, hardwoods, like which, which trees? We, we do this with birch, maple, oak. I've never done it with a beech. I could do it with ash trees, though I don't really transplant the ash trees um, because I'm, I'm afraid that someday the emerald ash borer will be transplanted into this area. So I'm trying to save as many of the other trees that I can at this time. T talk about that. Tell, tell us about the emerald ash borer. The emerald ash borer, that's a borer that came into southern Michigan. It was transported into this country from, another, from uh, Asia, I believe, and it was in pallets. And the boars came out, and in uh, the Detroit uh, south um, eastern part of the state, almost every ash tree is dead. And it's slowly working its way north. There's been uh, firewood that's been brought up north that has transplanted the ash borer up into even into the UP right now. They had it up in uh, Brimley. So we're, we don't allow people to bring any firewood into the campground just because of the fact we don't know if they've got any ash in their wood and we do not want it brought into our campground. If we had the emerald ash borer come through the campground, it could cost us $100,000 just in removal of trees and processing, cleaning, stumps, and trying to replant would be another additional cost on that. And I, I really pride on myself on keeping a campground full of trees. We do have nurseries that we've already put in, in case something like that happens. We've been bringing in maples and oaks and uh, evergreens. So we're actively trying to get ahead of the uh, game. But well, we do have a large percentage of ash trees. In well, we have a very large, in certain areas of the park. Certain areas of the park um, have, you know, it changes. It's probably four different sections of the park. And down along the shoreline, there's lots of ash trees. It'll change the look of the campground dramatically if all the ash trees died. It would take out all your big, tall, old growth trees. This is one of those big, old growth ash trees that's located within the park. It'd be a shame to have the emerald ash borer come in and, and destroy this tree. It's early May right now, so the leaves aren't out yet. This tree is perfectly healthy, but um, it just hasn't uh, sprouted yet for the season. Yeah, our spring is just starting here. This is a shot of one of the areas Chris was talking about with a lot of ash trees. Um, they don't have the leaves on yet, uh, but all the deciduous trees you see here that don't have any leaves on them are ash trees. So the emerald ash borer would be very devastating to us in this part of the campground. It's the Mackinac Mill Creek Camp.